Picture this. Got a new LED light strip for your birthday and you hung it up all around your room. It's super cool and your room is now a super epic dungeon of awesomeness. The best part is that it came with a remote. There are plenty of options to change what the lights look like and what they do. If you want the room all red, you push the red button. You want green, you push green. The remote is telling the lights what to do and what to look like, right? That is kind of like our DNA. You have probably heard about DNA, but maybe don't know what it is. But it's like a remote control for your body. DNA is in every part of our bodies, telling each little piece what it should look like and what it should do. Well, let's say your little brother or sister comes into your room. They're being wild and spill milk. Suddenly the purple button doesn't work anymore. Nothing about the remote has changed, but having milk spilled on it kind of broke it. This can happen to our DNA too. As we age and when we are exposed to materials that aren't good for us like pollutants, it can change the way our DNA remote works. Sometimes this problem fixes itself, like when you smack your remote on the table and it works again, as if by magic. Other time milk spills can lead to diseases like cancer. Remotes work by sending messages that tell our tiniest pieces, called cells, what to become. You see, our cells don't know what to do until the remote sends the message. Just like your light won't turn on without you pushing the power button. Cancer happens when the power button gets stuck in the on position. With the lights, this means you are stuck with blue lights in your room every day, nonstop, even while you're sleeping. In our bodies, this looks a little different. Let's pretend our DNA remote got stuck in the on position for toenail cells. So every new cell is told to become part of your toenail. But you only need so many toenail cells. Next thing you know, you have a toenail tumor. Just kidding, that's not a real thing, as far as I know. But this happens with all types of cells. Some of the most common that you may have heard of include skin cancer, which is why we wear our sunscreen, and bone cancer. So if you only take one thing away from this presentation, remember that epigenetics is like spilling milk on your DNA remote. There are many different types of milk spills like smoking, getting sunburns, or being exposed to pollution in the air or water. Sometimes these milk spills can be cleaned up by our body, and other times they can't, and it turns into a disease like cancer or other conditions. So do your best to avoid spilling on your DNA remote.